Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 3rd of exercise 13.2 and the question says a glob jamun contains sugar syrup up to about 30% of its volume. Find the approximately how much syrup would be found in 45 glob jamuns each shaped like a cylinder with two hemisphere hemisphere ends with length 5 cm and diameter 2.8 cm. So in this case you have to find how much syrup is there in 45 gulab jamuns where the syrup is 30% of its volume. Means if you want to find the syrup first of all you need to find the volume of one gulab jamun and when that is multiplied by 45 and that will be the volume of 45 gulab jamuns and the syrup here is 30% of this volume. So if you want to find the syrup that will be equals to 30% of volume and volume here is the volume of 45 gulab jamuns. So that will be equal to 30% will be 30 upon 100 multiplied by volume. That is 45 multiplied by the volume of each gulab jamun. Now this will be the amount of syrup here. Now here the each shape of this gulab jamun is of a cylinder with two hemispheres and with length 5 cm. So, if I draw the figure of this, it must look like this, where the, this is a shape of a uh, gulab jamun here, where the center is a cylinder and this is attached to two hemispheres. Now if you want to find the volume of this figure, so this will be the volume of one gulab jamun and you need to find the syrup and if I substitute the volume here, I will get my answer. Now the length of this is given to you as 5 centimeters. So this complete length is given to you as 5 centimeters and the diameter here is 2.5. 8 centimeters. Now let's find the volume of gulab jamun that will be equal to the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of hemisphere and there are two hemisphere so this volume can be multiplied with two now the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h plus the volume of the hemisphere is two is multiplied by two by three pi r cube so this will be the volume of the hemisphere now this is pi r square h plus this is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now instead of solving this directly what I can do is I can take pi r square pi r square as common. So taking pi r square common from the first expression only h will remain inside the bracket plus from the second 4 by 3 and pi r square is taken out so from r cube is if r square is taken out only r will remain inside the bracket here now I must know the value of r this complete diameter is given to you as 2.8 and the radius is half of the diameter so the radius will be half of this 2.8 which is equals to 1.4 centimeter so the radius here is 1.4 centimeter 
and h will be the height this h is the height of the cylinder so that will be equals to obviously for this hemisphere if this is the radius this will also act as radius so if this is 1.4 this will also be equals to 1.4 similarly for this hemisphere also if this radius because both hemispheres are equal so if this radius is 1.4 cm similarly this also act as radius which is 1.4 cm so if you want to find this height which is the height of the cylinder for that you need to subtract this 1.4 plus 1.4 from 5 cm so 1.4 plus 1.4 is 2.8 so I have to subtract 2.8 from 5 to find out the height so the height will be equals to this will be 0 2.2 centimeters so the height will be equals to 2.2 centimeters now I can solve this the value of pi is 22 upon 7 the radius here is 1.4 that can be written as 14 upon 10 multiplied by 14 upon 10 radius is 1.4 so radius square will be 1.4 multiplied by 1.4 and I have removed the decimal and I have added 10 in the denominator h is 2.2 plus 4 by 3 multiplied by radius which is 1.4 now solving this, this can be cancelled two times. This will be 22 is multiplied by 2 is multiplied by 14 upon 100. And this will be 2.2 plus this will be 5.6 upon 3. Further solving this, this will be 44 multiplied by 14 whole upon 100 and inside the bracket if I have to solve this I have to take the LCM and the LCM of 3 and 1 is 3 cross multiplying this, this will be 6.6 .6 plus and this will be 5.6 upon 3. So further solving this, this is 44 is multiplied by 14 upon 100 in bracket. So the volume of this uh, single gulab jamun is equal to this. Now if you want to find the syrup that is 30% of the volume of 45 gulab jamun and the volume of boiled gulab jamun is this much so I can substitute the values there so this will be can this can cancel out 3 upon 10 multiplied by 45 is multiplied by the volume which is 44 multiplied by 14 upon 100 is multiplied by 1 2 2 upon 30 again I removed the 0 and I can write it 0 in the denominator now or I can write this as 3 upon 3 multiplied by 10 now this 3 can be cancelled with this 3 and the answer will be equal to 45 is multiplied by 44 is multiplied by 14 is multiplied by 122 whole upon this is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so what you need to do here is you need to multiply these numbers and you need to divide by this uh, or you can say you can place the decimal after counting 1 2 3 4 from the right hand side this is how you can solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any uh, other problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you